Now, if you ask me to find the LCM of two numbers using prime factorization, I know what to do. But the question that remains in my mind is, do I truly understand what I'm doing to get the answer? Like I'm finding the prime factors, taking the maximum powers, multiplying them all together. Do I, can I explain it in simple words to myself? It feels like there's something to understand here. And I know that the best way to understand anything is to really ask as many why and how questions that we can come up with. Even if they sound like dumb questions, in fact, especially if they sound like dumb questions, and get to the bottom of what we're really trying to understand. So let's do that with LCM today. Let's try and look at the LCM with a new pair of eyes. So let's take two small numbers, say 12 and 18, and ask, if I have to find the LCM of these two numbers using prime factorization, what's step number one for us? The step number one is to go to 12 and ask, hey 12, what are your prime factors? And then go to 18 and ask, hey 18, what are your prime factors? Now I did that and they told me, 12 told me that it has uh, two twos and one three, and 18 told me that it has one two and two threes. Now is the time to stop and think about how to use this information to arrive at our LCM. And in a previous video, we did the same thing for the HCF, where we uh, visualized in a diagram why thinking about prime factors makes it easier to find the HCF. That's not a strictly needed video, but you may find this video much more fun if you watch that video as well. So with that, let's jump in and ask how to find the LCM with this information that we have right now. And the first question to ask is, what is the LCM really? What is it? Isn't the LCM the first multiple of both 12 and 18? That's pretty much it, right? In other words, if I started the number line at 12 and keep jumping size 12, and start at 18 and keep jumping size 18, at some point these two will have to meet. And the first place where they meet is what we call the LCM. So then, now that we know this, let's ask, what should the LCM be? The LCM just needs to contain enough factors of both 12 and 18 so that it's a multiple of both of them. Think about that. So what LCM does is goes to 12 and asks, hey 12, I'm trying to be your LCM. I'm auditioning to be your LCM. So what do I need? How many twos do you have? And 12 says, so oh, I have two twos. And LCM says, oh, okay, I definitely need two twos then. Uh, only then will I be a multiple of yours. If I have only one two or zero twos, I can never be a multiple of you. Forget being a multiple of 18. So I have two twos now. How many threes do you have? And 12 says, oh, I have one three. And LCM says, okay, cool. I'll have one three as well. And then it asks 12, anything else? And 12 says, no, I have nothing else. So LCM is now happy. I've at least covered 12. And uh, I'm not, I don't yet know about 18, but I definitely know that I'm your multiple now. Let me go to 18 and find out. Then the LCM goes to 18 and asks, hey, what do you need? I'm trying to be your LCM. What do I need to have to be able to cover you? And 18 says, oh, me, I have one two. The LCM looks inside and says, that's great. I, in fact, have two twos. So no worries at all. I have an extra two, even though you don't need it. And then LCM asks, what else do you need? And 18 says, I need two threes to be my multiple. If you have to be my multiple, you need two threes, at least. And the LCM says, oh, I have only one three that 12 wanted me to have. Uh, okay, I can add another three. So now I have two threes as well. And uh, the LCM asks 18, anything else? And LCM says, no, no fives with me, no sevens, nothing else. So the LCM is happy. The LCM says, now I have the exact minimum things that I need to have to be the LCM of 12 and 18. And if you find the answer to this, you will know what the LCM of these two numbers is, right? And you're guaranteed that this number will be a CM, which is a common multiple of both 12 and 18, because 2 into 2 into 3 is here already. That's 12. And 2 into 3 into 3 is here. That's 18. But what you also know is you have not included anything unnecessarily. So you know this will be your LCM, right? So 2 into 2 is 4 into uh, 3 into 3 is 9. So 36 is your LCM. Now, let's visualize this in a different way. Now, the way I like to do it is to imagine 12 to be a circle like this, containing its prime factors, and 18 as well, like this. Now, how is the LCM connected in this picture? How should you think of finding the LCM using this picture? If I were to do it, what I'll do is that, hey, I'm still the LCM. I'll go ask 12, what are your factors? I need to be your multiple first if I have to be a multiple of both of you. I first need to be at least your multiple and I could have picked 12 or 18 first. I'm just picking 12 first. So 12 LCM says, okay, I need to contain everything that you, you contain. So two into two into three, that'll make me your multiple. Great. Now I have another job. I also need to be the multiple of 18. So I'll go to 18 and ask, what do you need? 
and 18 says i need 2 into 3 into 3 but before adding these also to the lcm bucket the lcm realizes wait wait it's possible that some things that you need 18 were already covered by 12 so i have to ask 12 and you what's common between the two of you because whatever is common i've already covered so that's what the lcm does it wants to find out what's common and the way to do that is to just observe what's common between the two you'll notice that there's 1 2 and 1 3 that's common and because that's the case this 2 3 that you see for 18 has already been covered by becoming a multiple of 12 and that's beautiful if you think about it that part is already covered so lcm just needs to cover this extra 3 and 18 will also be covered it doesn't have to cover those 2 and 3 again because it was covered for 12 now in that way when you look at it the lcm is simply this 2 multiplied by the 2 into 3 that's common which you see over here multiplied by the 3 that's not common between 12 and 18 there's an extra 3 in 18 that's not covered if you become a multiple of 12 so you only need to multiply that and now i have a question and the question is can you look at this diagram and also figure out what the hcf is notice that just by drawing the building blocks of 12 and the building blocks of 18 and bringing them together bringing them together so that the 2 and 3 of 18 and the 2 and 3 of 12 in this case those are the common factors bring them together like this gives us both the hcf and the lcm in one diagram beautifully because once you've done this the hcf is simply the common factors multiplied with each other we went really deep into this in the, in the previous video so 3 into 2 will be the hcf which is 6 and whatever is visible once you do this multiplied together will be your lcm 2 into 2 into 3 which is over here into 3 and now you also know why this is true i find this really beautiful let's do one more example to really understand this even better so let's take all of these out and uh, let's take our two new numbers 120 and 84 just like we did for hcf and pause right now and uh, think about the find the prime factors of 120 draw a diagram for it prime factors of 84 draw the diagram for it observe what's common and notice that when you merge them whatever you can see multiplied together will be your lcm i'm going to do it right now for 120 i have three twos and one three and one five so i have two cubed a uh, three twos the short form of writing that is two cubed right into three into five and uh, for 84 i have two twos one three and one seven equals two twos one which is 2 square into 3 into 7 now finding the lcm simply becomes including all the things already included in one number so if i write the lcm out over here the lcm that'll simply be equal to 2 cube into 3 into 5 which is basically just all the numbers that 120 needs 2 cubed into 3 into 5 and then all the things that 84 needs that were not already covered by 120 and to find that we just find what's common and merge the diagram whatever was what is what's part of 84 that's already covered two twos and one three so that's already covered which means the only thing left to be covered is another seven so you multiply by that seven as well and then you have your lcm so let's find out what the lcm is it's um, seven five is a 35 into three is 105 105 into eight that's 840 840 i hope that's correct so the lcm is all the things that are visible once you merge it so that you're not counting the common factors twice because you don't need to now if you remember the hcf is actually also available in this diagram directly for us the hcf is just all these multiplied together which is 2 into 2 into 3 which is 12 so you have everything that we need and now is a good time to pause and ask hey how is this diagram and this way of thinking about it connected to the methods that i'm already used to now one of the methods i was used to was uh, writing the lcm as uh, looking at each of the prime factors say 2 first and noticing what's the maximum power and then i'll write that so the maximum power in this case is 2 cubed and then go to the next one 3 3 power 1 here 3 power 1 here so into 3 5 power 1 here no 5 here that can be taken as 5 power 0 so taking 5 power 1 and then no 7 nothing else over here but there's one 7 here and no 7 here so taking the maximum power of that which is 17 notice it's exactly the same thing that you have done here and the reason you're taking the maximum power is that if one person needs two to three twos and the other person needs only two 
by taking the maximum you're ensuring that everybody will be happy even if there are more and more numbers as long as you have taken the maximum power of a prime factor you know everybody else will be satisfied so it makes sense to do this there's another method you may have been used to which is uh, this way of writing things like draw a line write a draw a line keep going have you done this so if you have then what you're doing is actually first finding whatever is common 2 into 2 into 3 because you keep dividing by both the numbers and if you stop right here you get the hcf 2 into 2 into 3 right and then what you start doing if you're finding the lcm is that you start looking at whatever is divisible by even one number so this in this case is 2 only goes in 10 so you write that and then you keep finding out whatever is not common so till here is your what i can call your common part after which begins your not common part and observe how that neatly ties into this diagram 2 into 2 into 3 is over here you multiply that alone you get your hcf there's 2 into 5 that's left behind on the 120 side and there's another 7 that is left behind on the 84 side and you multiply all of these together you were told that you'll find the lcm but now you know exactly why 